So what's up? Um, hello, welcome to another video of this SP Design YouTube channel. And in this video, I will explain kind of why I chose to work with the um, free fell for Koenigsegg technology that they're using for the similar heads instead of using regular camshafts. So the first thing that's kind of off top the reason why it's very easy to make and very quick to design it in SolidWorks because you don't need to have gear drives and you don't need to have uh, a lot of those type of things where you don't need to make camshafts and everything so it just yeah it's basically also easier to make quicker to make and also to develop for the car I don't know if that's also the same case in real life it kind of does make the engine simpler but it, um, it also makes it probably more expensive because you need more electronic equipment instead of just manual uh, parts and everything but I will go through the um, just the benefits of everything. So, first things first. So let's take the right hand side. You can also kind of see the, um, yeah, the the spark plug and everything. So, this is what's called a cylinder head. The cylinder head kind of the only thing a cylinder head does is just the creates um, doesn't create, but it regulates the amount of air that is in the cylinder at what point in time. So. Do you want cool uh, air mixed with uh, fluids and uh, not fluids, just fuels and everything, or do you want the exhaust gases to leave the port and everything? So it's just a regulator, but it's also one of the most important factors of a car because it also kind of determines the um, the compression ratio. It also determines how much air can actually also go into the cylinder, and it also determines how much exhaust gases can leave at what point in time. So because in a regular situation the uh, camshafts that open and close these valves that regulate the airflow are um, on a fixed pattern we also have like uh, camshafts and everything that can kind of move and everything to give a little bit more of a, of a better curve and everything but if you take a regular situation for a regular camshaft that doesn't have this adaptive control and everything you would have a curve that kind of looks like this so it would go up, have a peak somewhere and go down again and stay close for the rest of the time and everything that's in the line so I can, let's just drag it on the screen that is a little bit more maybe clear what I mean to say so regularly the scansion line looks a bit like this and excuse me for my poor drawing technique but I'm doing this with my mouse and um, this means that all the air that was allowed in the cylinder will be under in this surface area right here. And if you kind of look at the Koenigsegg free fall, free fall technology, because it isn't uh, restricted by the turn crankshaft, they can open and close it at a couple of milliseconds delay whenever they want, for how long they want, and also how far they want it to open. So at max RPM, that curve will start to look a little more like this. So all this extra air that you regularly wouldn't be able to put into the cylinder will now be on, um, yeah, so you will be able to burn that extra air with the extra fuel and everything. So every single combustion will have more energy. You will be able to um, push the piston down harder and uh, you also kind of have to, or you can create a smaller piston with a smaller engine because the explosion is more violent so you get more energy from the explosion so instead of having a regular four cylinder you can go back to a three cylinder and create the same horsepower basically so that is the first thing that um, so let's erase all of this uh, so that's the first thing that is the big benefit from this whole, this whole thing and then this creates more horsepower, more torque, and also becomes more fuel efficient because you can create a smaller, a smaller engine and everything. So it becomes more lightweight and all of that. The next thing is this dual port. Uh, is a dual port. F, um, yeah, I don't know really how you should call it, but because you have two ports, so two valves per cylinder, two valves for exhaust and two valves so four valves per cylinder. Um, you can kind of create with the exhaust with the exhaust piece. You can create, uh, what, which I haven't done yet, but I will create another uh, manifold to do what I'm going to talk about right now. But you can um, have one of the exhaust ports go through the pre-catalytic converter and another one go to uh, just the straight pipe, just go to the exhaust manifold directly. 
and what this allows you to do is just when the engine is cold and all everything is um, a cold engine pollutes the air way more than a regular just when the engine is at working temperature so when the engine is cold you can just close one valve off and not have that valve open and that is the valve that will kind of go straight to the exhaust and just exhaust every uh, just exhaust all of the gases through the uh, port that will go through the pre catalytic converter so that will then heat up way quicker and it will kind of um, allow you to have way better uh, emissions and everything and as soon as the engine heats up you just close off that valve don't have the exhaust run through the pre catalytic converter have way less back pressure on the cylinder and run um, a clean engine at the same time but with way more horsepower because you don't need that pre catalytic converter so the, the pressure, the back pressure and everything is way less so that is a big benefit on the exhaust part and if you combine it with a turbocharger the effect becomes even bigger because you can really decide at which point at what RPM you want the turbo to spool up and all that so that's why Kunixek is doing it with the turbocharger right now and for the Chinese company I don't remember the name of the company but that is the other big benefit on, that is on the exhaust part if you look at the intake part and because here is a cutoff you can see it but on this side you can you can also have two individual uh, fuel injectors for every single cylinder so one for each um, intake for valve and what this allows you to do is that extra air that you can put into the cylinder you can also add extra fuel so you can burn more fuel and if you can burn more fuel you can have a more efficient engine that produces more power in a smaller volume it's that simple so um, that is another thing why the Koenigsegg free valve mechanism is very good and with the intake ports and everything what I'm going to do with these intake with these intake valves I'm going to just place these trumpet like things on top of these uh, some, some velocity stacks or whatever and that will allow you to kind of suck in more air and everything than just this small circle that is so uh, yeah, just just a small circle like that. I'll have like a big circle right here that will suck this air into the, the cylinder. But at the same time, what Ferrari has been doing is they kind of have these variable length intake runners, so you can shorten or lengthen the um, the the intake runner to create some sort of a frequency at which the air gets sucked into the cylinder, and you can kind of create you can kind of create an extra suction suction by varying the length at different RPMs and at different points of your uh, your throttle pedal and everything, so you can suck in more air, burn more air, and also add more fuel. So it's kind of, I'm kind of using a lot of different technologies that um, will kind of work together with uh, just a lot of testing and everything if this was a real world situation but yeah. So that is another thing that will be done to the engine. So that is basically everything for this free valve mechanism. The only thing that I haven't mentioned yet is this part of the free valve mechanism. So in this channel right here there are multiple channels that are located in this just one for um, every single valve so right here on this side on on uh, the top side this will be the uh, pressurized air that will enter the valve to push it down and on this bottom side here and also on just all of them there will be an exhaust part where the the, um, the high uh, where the pressurized air can leave so as soon as the piston is coming up it can exit through that hole right there and uh, yeah so in these channels will be small electronic actuators that can open and close when you want it to open and that will be fed by a compressed air tank that will also be driven by the, uh, the crankshaft of the engine or maybe even run it uh, through the starting motor that's also an option that every time we need a little bit more air we just run the starter motor so that is also another thing that we can do so I think that it is everything the only thing I, I haven't done which Koenigsegg is doing is um, the lubrication system for it I don't know how they're doing that yet so once I figure that out I will also put that uh, yeah just on this engine so that's basically everything for this video thanks for watching Please leave a like, subscribe, and um, yeah, hope to see you guys in a future video. I'm Shakil Feldbaum. Peace.